쌈 왔네요 Hello Is that your first time here? I don't see a lot of new faces And your name is? It's very nice to meet you Welcome to the quiet and magic library So, what brings you here? Oh, I see you're here for an adventure Yes Well, you'll find lots of these here mm -hmm. What kind of adventure, may I ask? Mm -hmm. I see Would you prefer maybe something a little scary or something with the heroes? Mm -hmm. Right. I think I may just have the right books for you. Let me look through my amazing collection. I'm very pleased to meet you. I'm sure you're going to have a great time here. So, first you said you liked something a little scary. Great. So I believe Let me look through and ask my assistant to bring these books for you. Mm, that one may just be perfect. Ah, my assistant will bring it in just a second. Yes, it's that one. Hmm, alley number six. Tell me a little bit about yourself You're coming from home You look a little sad You don't like to stay home I understand I'm kind of the same way That's why I love spending my time here Finding a new book is like Finding a lot of new friends mm. Yes, and then there's a lot of people here Who you can share the story with mm. Ah, oh, thank you You're an absolute angel Thank you See this one? This is the first book that I shall suggest And I'm sure you've probably heard about this story But 
so many people have never read it. It is Dracula. Mm. This is a wonderful book. Absolutely wonderful. It's not quite a hard cover, which I prefer personally, but this one is just as beautiful. So, you can see that the pages on the side are painted black, which is great, isn't it? It just adds a little bit to the thrill. And this story is about vampires. Do you know anything about vampires? Hmm. They do drink blood. Yes, you can protect yourself against them. It is possible. Oh, don't mind this. This is the library's mascot. He came over from the other story. The other room, sorry. So... This story will bring you to a dark story, but also a love story. I heavily suggest it. You see, vampires are such singular creatures. They are very strange, but I would say sometimes very friendly and very charming, but a lot of them don't have the best intentions at heart. And once I met one of them and oh, I could tell you so many stories about them. They were wonderful, but there was something very strange about them, very sad and dark. And I escaped just in time because I felt something was going up, but feeling this, 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 this. Welcome. We found you on the edge of the forest. Unconscious. Heard what? Welcome, my name is Countess Jazula. I will be your hostess tonight. Oh, why so jumpy? You're safe here tonight. You can do whatever you want. You can sit down. And stay by the fire. You can watch the rain outside. Hmm. I see. I know you can't see me, but I'm standing right beside hmm. you. It seems you're a little bit troubled. Luckily, my physician made you a potion. I think you should try that. It will make you so much better. Yes, it actually tastes very good. I think you should try that. Hmm. He actually works in a lab near the castle. He does his little experiments, you know? Mm hmm. I like to call him crazy, but he's very clever. Mm hmm. Did that taste good? 
good. Good. Do you feel any different? Interesting. This castle belongs to my family. We've been owning it for... since the dawn of time. Mm -hmm. I've been living here for... ages. Mm -hmm. It's such a beautiful castle. I like to think that it's Inhabited. Alive. Mm -hmm. Especially at night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you will find a lot of interesting things. Yes, there's a lot of mm, secrets, I would say. even some that I don't know. Who knows? Yes. I like to think that I would live here for a long time. From the forest. That's where we found you. You were there, on the ground, unconscious. Are you okay? It seems like you daydreamed. I hope it was a great dream. You seem a little startled. Oh. Were you a little too taken by the story, maybe? Okay. Would that be a story that you would like to read? Yes? Okay. Good. Then let me just make sure that we have this. You have your name on it. And so I can add it to the record of the library. I'm afraid we don't have sticky paper anymore. So these days, I just do this myself. This is now yours. Good. Next. I assume you would like more books.
people usually come and borrow tons. Yes? So what kind of book? Yes, I may know a little bit about that. So, let me look through my collection. Would you like something, something different? Maybe mythology? Mm. There are so many stories, such great ones. Why don't we try? Let me see if it was borrowed already. I don't think I've seen anyone in the story, in the alley. Sorry. Um, yeah. This tea makes me say crazy things. reading. Mm. Have you been to other libraries before? Mm. This one is a little special. We consider our customers like travelers, you see. And reading a book is like traveling from one place to another. And usually people love that. Well, some stories I must say are a little too scary and intense, but some others are wonderful. <laughs> It's great to feel like the hero of a story for just a little while. Some people get lost in some stories too. Yes, there's a lot of... There's a lot of travelers who I haven't seen in a while. Maybe they liked the book so much. Huh? Yes, I consider this job as bringing some kind of joy to people. Isn't it wonderful? Ah, great. Thank you very much. Ah, this one. Beautiful. This is the tales of Noor mythology. So many stories. So many stories. This one is a hardcover. As you can see, it is absolutely beautiful. I cherish books like treasures. Even if they're old, they're always so beautiful. 
This one has stunning gold sides and there is so much to learn about the Norse mythology. Look at these heroes. Wonderful, isn't it? Let me give you a nice preview. There's pictures here and there and so you have everything of course about Odin mm -hmm. Frigga Thor who could you know Freya um, do you know about the Valkyrs <laughs> There is great things to know, of course. Loki. Yes, you've heard this before, haven't you? Yes, there's so many things to know. And there's also lots of illustrations. Amazing, beautiful paintings. <sighs> so much. I met someone before who was counting me the story of their people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Was it one traveler got lost in the story? Where? character was taking them prisoner mm -hmm. and so they had a choice to be a slave or to be one of them the vikings yes and so what happened was that like to drink. I'm surprised I can speak your language. I've learned much from your people. They're very clever. We're very different. recognize intelligence when I see it. Are you sure? No drink for you. What's your name? This house, this house has servants, like the young girl you can see behind you. Yes, I make the rules here. I am the leader, and you can choose. 
conversation with you and you have a choice it's all yours I will protect you whichever you choose your face get lost again was that a nice story interesting and what happened then you got woken up So glad you had a nice time and you met someone new, a friend. That's wonderful. Yes. So, would you be interested in this book? Mm -hmm. It could tell you more about what that character told you about. story maybe you want more mythology hmm I believe I have just the right book for you let me see
How much time do you think you will spend reading? Lot, right? We always want to get lost in my stories. Oh, yes. I do read a lot of books myself, but I try not to get lost because there are so many books I want to go through, you see, and I want to visit all of them and not get lost in one story. As wonderful as it seems, there's always other worlds and other universes to go to. And I can always go back. You can always go back. Thank you. You're wonderful. Perfect. This one is very exciting. <laughs> this one is a hardcover too. But it's much smaller. This is the Greek myth. A wonder book for girls and boys. And this one is kind of shiny. <laughs> yes, this is Medusa with her serpent snakes hair.
was it? Another daydream. Who was it about this time? So you met Medusa. In your dream, of course. How was she? Mm. Very sad, wasn't she? <laughs> Maybe a little bit playful. That sounds very terrifying a little bit. <laughs> were you scared? No, of course. You were braver than anyone else, right? <laughs> I see. You're definitely the hero of your own story. <laughs> oh, there's so many more myth in this book that you could get lost in and be the hero of. Would you like that? Let's put your name in. Would you like maybe one last one? Yes, I have a great recommendation for you. Yes. Do you like, it kind of stays in the same universe, <laughs> same universe, same world of, <laughs> well, you'll see. Let me look for it. Come back to one of them. 
and I wouldn't be surprised that your favorite one would be in this bunch. <laughs> Great. Perfect. Thank you. That's the last time I bother you. <laughs> This one. We are still in Greece, but this one is slightly different. This is God and Heroes of Ancient Greece. Beautiful, quite thick, and with golden pages. Stunning, really. And, well, the first image is a little bit bloody, so let's not show you that. <laughs> but, will tell you all about the gods of ancient Greece, you see. In old ages, people used to believe in different gods, not just one, multiple, and each one was taking care of something different, let's say. <laughs> and they were all very interesting. There was obviously Zeus, who was, let's say, at the head of all the gods. He was the most powerful one. There were many gods, but you see, there were also goddesses. Mm -hmm. Lots of goddesses. And one of them liked to create humans. She was very... <laughs> she liked to build them. And I remember meeting her one day. And she was very delightful. And she...
what happened to you this time. goddess in your dream. How interesting. Right. And she was creating a human. Oh. Was she creating you? <laughs> well, she did it right. you a lot of imagination. <laughs> That's great. Oh, I'm sure you will find in these pages wonderful stories. Would you like that? Should I add it to your list of books? Very well. Very well. So, let's cut another paper. You seem strong. You're strong enough to fight with all the creatures in these books. I, it was wonderful to meet you today, and I really hope to see you back. As you can see, there are lots of stories waiting for you. That sounds wonderful. I don't know if you can reach that goal in such a short time, but I can definitely tell you that these stories are very easily read. Very easily traveled in, let's say. <laughs> so, enjoy your stories, and I'll see you next time. I'll be here, waiting. Goodbye, for now.